Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Welcome back to Shay's Kitchen. I hope you're all keeping safe. And uh, today we are going to make traditional vegetables, the Western Kenya way. It's going to be an amazing thing, I, I believe. And you're going to learn an amazing ingredient that I use in my kitchen, not just for the vegetables but for my meats as well so i'll just take you through what i have and uh, what i'm going to prepare so first i have the vegetables i have kunde or rihuvi it's called cowpeas in english uh, then i have mito or slender leaf apparently that name is very interesting because has very slender leaf, so it's called slender leaf in English. That is mito, and then I have brenda or mtere or mrere, whichever <laughs> name you will decide to call it. In English, it should be jute malo. Yes, that should be the name in English. But yeah, so half the time I never really cook my rehubi without uh, mixing and since i do not take jute mango myself but there's somebody who really loves his mrenda i mix i get my kunde mix with the mito then the other bit i mix with the mrenda or jute mango or mtere whichever way you want to call this that's how we go about it so then for everything else of course when i'm done with boiling it and fry it so you need oil then onions tomatoes and this is the secret ingredient so this is called munyu mushereha yes luyas are you there munyu mushereha and um, i know people um, make their vegetables with the uh, magadi or baking soda but i've never tried if you have please tell me how that goes but this time i'll be showing you how to use munyu mshereha munyu mshereha is made from you you just it's ash but then you add water to the ash to get this liquid and the darker it is the more concentrated it is so you just use a little bit of it in your vegetables and the taste oh amazing so um my mom uses bean husks when they are completely dried up then you burn them and you use you use the ash so for for my for me here i have a makeshift kind of sieve that i used to make that i just took a plastic tin made some holes in it then another plastic tin so i put the ash there then pour water and then it descends into the lower tin then i sip that and store it and use it anytime i want to use it but my mom has something very nice it's it's made of clay and it, it has um i think it sort of looks like a kettle and uh, she tends to use that to to make the munyu mushereha so today i'm going to show you how we do it the luya way so first, the, my vegetables are already washed, very clean. So I'll just mix up first what I need to mix up. I want to add munyum sherecha to the sufurias or cooking pots so you don't put too much especially this one the darker it is the more concentrated it is so you if you put too much they'll tend to have a certain test that will not be so pleasant and you might not want to eat it after all so that is fine yeah just a little bit before you add the remaining i'll pour I'll sprinkle on, on the top after I've added the vegetables to the sufuria. So we will just add the 
the two on this one and a little bit on this one as well yeah that should be all on the fire now I'll just be cooking them at the same time so I'll just let them cook a little then I'll stir each so that I'll get to cover them and allow them to cook until they are ready minutes later I want to stir them and just ensure the top is also cooking then cover it a little bit it forms the moon you share how when you're using it the, the, the form that comes out of it as it cooks is always too much. So if you cover it fully, it might spill over. So it just, just smokes, smokes them up so that it cooks evenly. I told you guys it's gonna shrink. Don't cover fully because it will start overflowing. Yes, this is amazing. I think this one is ready. You need this kind of consistency as you cook. See how this looks like now. Added oil, both pans together with onions. There we are. Yes, I'm still frying them at the same time so we'll just let the onions cook so we'll to add salt i like adding my salt to the oil so our tomatoes are fully cooked so we will just add our vegetables are ready here the mito miro slender leaf mixed with kunde or rihubi or cowpeas and here is the jugmalu mtere murere mrenda here yes 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 we are going to have this with ugali yeah and for cream lovers and milk lovers as i mentioned you can add and simmer or maybe you can add as you eat yeah but that's it i hope you will find it interesting to try munyu mshereha 